We see the pictures time and again of bodies being dug out of the rubble. And in the majority of cases, it is women and children who are being killed. 70% of those killed are women and children. They have killed, in the last six and a half months, 33,000 Palestinians, wounded 77,000, two-thirds of whom are women and children. With more than 34,000 killed, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, the majority of those killed are women and children, the health ministry says. How many civilians have been killed in Gaza? Is it even possible to answer that question accurately right now? Since Israel went to war with Hamas following the terror group's horrific October 7th massacre, we've been repeatedly warned about the unacceptable loss of life in the Gaza Strip. Every single day, the Palestinian death toll rises rapidly. In fact, the war in Gaza has been described as worse than any other 21st century conflict, including the Syrian war, the Sudanese civil war, and the Darfur genocide. The one problem? It's not true. First, let's explain where these alarming casualty figures are coming from. Gaza's Ministry of Health is controlled by Hamas, a terror organization. The ministry reports figures daily in a statistical report that's published online. While the UN has claimed the Hamas-run health ministry's data is trustworthy, independent analysts and the US government have questioned their reliability. In fact, John Spencer, the chair of Urban Warfare Studies at the US Military Academy at West Point, explains that there has never been a war in history with a daily death count. And there's a good reason for this. An analysis of the health ministry's data reveals the death toll rate is about the same every day, which in the context of an unpredictable war is statistically impossible. Last month, the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs quietly revised the Gaza Health Ministry's numbers of confirmed civilian deaths, effectively halving the number of women and children killed. This was after the ministry was forced to admit it had incomplete data to document more than 10,000 deaths it had previously reported. The incomplete data? Just the names of thousands of people claimed dead. Some of them were duplicated by name or official ID number, and others were proclaimed dead in previous wars. But rather than concede that the overall death toll is much lower, the UN decided to keep promoting the original figure and attributing the discrepancy to the Gaza media office, which is nothing more than Hamas's propaganda wing. The Gaza media office continues to cite false data and increase its numbers accordingly, such as its claim that 70% of all casualties are women and children. The UN's determination to push verifiably false figures about Gaza is further evidence of what we knew all along. This organization works hand in glove with Hamas to inflate the civilian death toll in Gaza. So what's the truth? Well, thanks to the UN, we may never know.